Hey everyone, welcome. EVNG Chan, Evangelist Nick Garrett channel. Wow, I had no idea that putting out a video referring people to Graham Hancock's work on the Ark and Axum was so controversial. Apparently there's a huge number of people online who believe the findings of Ron Wyatt regarding the Ark of the Covenant. So in this video, I'm going to offer you proof that Ron Wyatt did not discover the Ark of the Covenant. This video is not meant to be mean or vindictive. I think Ron Wyatt is probably a great Christian. His discoveries in uh, the Red Sea area, uh, the Sinai, uh, for Noah's Ark, are verified finds that have been uh, journalized by other scientists. So he's done great work. There's no question about it. But the Ark of the Covenant, listen to what I found. There's a video called Ron Wyatt Against False Accusations, and in it, a man reads a letter dated November 1998 from the Israeli Antiquities Authority. And the letter says, quote, we cannot confirm Ron Wyatt's find and have no information about them. Ron Wyatt has never received a license from the Antiquities Authority to excavate in Israel. If he says he has excavated in Israel, he has committed an illegal act because every excavation in Israel must be licensed by our authority or our predecessor, the Israeli Department of Antiquities. Legitimate archaeological finds are published in scientific journals or universities. So the letter is official. I've confirmed uh, the letterhead that that government department used at the time. So my first response is this. When that letter is read to him in front of a group of people, his response, his first response is, well, we have two things happening here. That's not an authoritative confirmation of somebody who put their hands in the dirt to make this find. Body language. I'm no expert, but I've been a loyal subscriber until her channel was banned and now a patron of Bombard's body language in which she teaches that. He's Ron Wyatt's rubbing the back of his neck and showing nervousness, and he's not accessing memory when he talks about this excavation. That's a big problem. Ron Wyatt says the Israelis don't want the Ark of the Covenant find confirmed because there's all these complicated religious dynamics with Islam and he appeals to Islamic terrorism. Um, but the issue there is that all three of these religions subscribe to the same Old Testament stories about the Ark of the Covenant. He seems to believe that just because the Ark is discovered, they would have to kick Islam off the Dome of the Rock and rebuild a temple by mandate. And that's not the case. There's more. Next, he goes on to name the men that he worked with. He says, Amos Cloner, Joseph Gatt, Dan Bahat, and General Grory, it sounds like. He said, quote, these men have asked me not to show my permit. Oh, okay, so you're outing these alleged insiders about the biggest secret of all time, claiming their names are on this permit, but it has to be kept secret? But the Israeli authority said you never ended up with a permit. So now what, you're outing these people? Maybe he dug in Israel. I can't verify that or not. His Noah's Ark work is great, confirmed, vetted, journalized. But this, he ends up going into this crazy blood testing that Jesus's blood is found on this mercy seat and he might be a great Christian. Can't you see somebody who has made some serious archaeological finds saying something like, you know, look, let's let's show this because it'll generate interest in Christianity and some poor gullible fools going, yeah, yeah, he's right, it will. But don't you see how it hurts Christianity when things like this happen? Because the truth of Christianity is there. So for somebody to come along and try to sell a lie damages us. Here in my mind is the biggest problem with this. Ron Wyatt claims personal revelations as part of this discovery that changed the narrative of the gospel, the crucifixion, how penal substitutionary atonement works. I am a firm believer that we are all allowed a little bit of subjectivism in our interpretation of the Bible, but he's making a huge claim about the Christian faith based on an alleged archaeological discovery. And when confronted about it, he says he can't say because it's a secret, but then he names all the people. He shows a picture of himself with this guy and says, oh, look, here's the proof. And in this same video, he says, God will have it proved that the blood of his son was on this mercy seat and he's going to use my video to prove it to the world. 
Again, look, let me end on a positive note. I'm sure Ron Wyatt is a great, well-meaning Christian. His work precedes him. But like all of us, we're fallen people. We're a mix of good and bad. Uh, I think of Thomas Paine, the writer of Common Sense in the American founding and revolutionary era. He ended up uh, writing some other work that was highly criticized by President Washington himself, and he ended up languishing in jail. You know, there are so many people who uh, have done great work, but then end up going crazy or, you know, uh, producing not so great work. It's that's the human experience. I think we can say definitively Ron Wyatt did not find the Ark of the Covenant. And let's pray for the Wyatt family. Uh, Ron ended up passing away and um, these videos are still very popular today and a lot of people talk about them. So this message is still out there. Uh, we need to do the best we can to stay unified as Christians and, you know, kind of deal with our own stuff and do the best we can. Anyway, there it is. Look forward to talking to you all next time. I'm working on a video right now of the Reformation and Counter-Reformation in 2018. Talk to you next time.